Hi, I'm Scott Mincer, and in the uh, September-October 2015 issue of Epilepsy Currents, you will find the results of the latest Q-Pulse survey along with my commentary on it. The topic of the survey is epilepsy specialists and driving. We asked a panel of epilepsy specialists how they handle various circumstances with respect to uh, driving in their patients. We ask them, for example, if you have a patient who is seizure-free and is coming off her medication, do you restrict driving? If so, for how long? We asked if you have a patient who is seizure-free on a drug and needs to transition to another drug, do you restrict driving? If they are seizure-free on two drugs and you're tapering off one of them, do you restrict driving? And finally, we asked, what do you do about patients with pseudo seizures? Do you restrict them from driving at all? The answers were enlightening and showed uh, what I call a spectacular lack of consensus. The, uh, there was a large spectrum of, of opinions about when uh, driving should be restricted and for how long. There was very little consistency with the possible exception of the fact that um, most, patient, most uh, specialists do restrict driving in patients with pseudo seizures, or at least many of them do, um, although the results varied quite substantially. Um, the bottom line is that if you're a patient, um, whether your driving gets restricted under these circumstances is not really going to be based on any fundamental principle of medical practice. It's likely going to depend on just who you see in the clinic. I think this is a somewhat problematic state of affairs, and I discussed the possible reasons for it in my piece. So um, I hope you'll uh, read, and I hope you'll find it thought-provoking and interesting. Thanks.